Hello, welcome back. Another video from inside my scrap shed. I, I didn't plan on that this week. I planned on doing a street scrapping video, but um, I went out two or three times, didn't get a thing. But I did pick up a couple of bits from a, a customer of mine, but weren't long enough to do a video, to be honest, the computer and some bits and pieces. But I've spent well, three, four hours a day just clearing this bit of bench and um, scrapping all the little bits, you know, little micro scrapping stuff, tiny little bits and pieces, you know, this sort of size sort of stuff, but you can't even see my hand. Um, and, and that was the two or three hours last night. But I've got a bit of a space. I've been tripping over this uh, monitor for uh, a couple of days now. So I've decided to strip it. I, I've never stripped a monitor. I've done tellies before in the past, but not probably for I don't know how many years. So it's all coming back to me slowly, it ain't really, but you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so I've got this one on the, on the bench, so I thought I might as well film it. Um, all I've done so far is I've took the place plastic casing off. Um, there's this shield on it. Well, I guess it's aluminium, but there's some bits that look like stainless, so I will double check it um, before it goes in my bin um, to see what it is. Uh, I'm just trying to remember how to strip these down. Uh, it's been a, like I say, it's been a while, you know, and. Um, yeah, maybe I should have watched some videos just to remind myself but I didn't. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing it, but I'm just so fed up and tripping over it. And um, I want to do an unfairness run this week. It's supposed to rain again all week, I think. I think tomorrow I've got a good day. I might be able to get a few bits done outside. I've got loads of scrap now outside and that, but... I'm, <laughs> summer's here. We're in pretty summertime now. That's from last night. So, um, yeah, got to make the most of it. But... Uh, all I've done is cut all the wires. I know there's a couple of wires you want to cut first in here. Um, I couldn't remember. <laughs> like I say, it's, it's basically the same as a telly. So I've just I've just cut every wire I can, um, just in case there's some. I don't know when he last used it, so I've no idea if it's got any current in it. You know, if he's tried it or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have a little look and see if we can take it apart. I do remember, I don't want to break the ends off of these. <laughs> um, so I think I've cut all the wires. I haven't cut that by the looks of it, but I'll cut it now just in case. Uh, yeah. So I can't really remember what about doing these. Like, so I've done the TV, I don't think I've done them all because basic, basically, this was still a modern thing, wasn't it? You know, it was like 10 years old. I mean, this was 1999, this, um, this particular one. It's a year after I got married, so it's a long time. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I say, um, you didn't really strip computers back. When I was, well, I, mean, I wasn't into that anyway. I was into, um, so, you know, obviously more cars and stuff like that than electronics, so. I did do a few tellies um, just to um, just a bit of copper really but I can't really remember how everything comes apart on them. I don't know if I need to get that out of it. So that's a long long time ago. That's worth it just worth playing isn't it? I've got some more wires here. Oh, I'll cut that. Let me just have a little look at this and I'll come back. I don't want to break anything on the camera. Oh, wait a minute. Let me have a little look in here first before we break something. Oh, don't you start recording again? I only want my bleeding head. Alright, oh, I think I've got it sus. It just pulls or I weren't too sure. Um, oh, so I don't want to break anything. It's quite funny because I was looking at this and I looked back up and it was filming because um, it's got one of them thing, movement sensors will make sure um, it starts video recording so you don't have to press the button. And uh, yeah, I looked down and I was filming the top of my head. It was very exciting. I won't leave it that bit in. So that's all loose now. 
Uh, I don't know if I just put that one slide over there because there's a rubber there. I'll do another screw to undo there. So I'll undo the screw. That's all right. Not with that one, I want it. This one I just now. I find this is the problem. When I tidy up, I must have been one over just now. But I tidy up, and then what happens is. I'm trying to rush it because I'm filming. Um, yeah, I've moved everything you see, being a clever sod. Oh, yeah, I'll film that. That's a good idea. And because I haven't got nothing there, nothing. There you go. So I could edit that, I suppose. Use my old tripod, well, it hasn't got the ring light on it, so don't know what well, the lighting's in here. You're right underneath that strip light, we can probably hear fussing. Pigeons outside again. So that, um, like I say, I'm not 100% sure what happens. It doesn't affect me to take that, and that obviously needs, that goes that way. Do one so I'm done what happens then? I have no idea. See, it's alright saying, oh yeah, I know how to do these things when you don't, and I don't, see, so I'm, I'm not gonna. Now well, that's the end of the two. Don't do that! <laughs> I can see it, I can hear it. I mean, you're shouting, you don't need to do that. And that obviously goes over the top of that once it comes off. I don't know what's holding it all. I just know that you shouldn't break the end of these tubes. Right, so I'll like, so give it a go. What have we got to lose? Underneath here I've got a wheelbarrow. As you know, just in case you're wondering why. Chucking stuff under there. Um, I'll just clip these, take them right off because I can't see how I can go with this bit of plastic. Oh, this bit of plastic. Uh, now, now you're going to say to me, Well, what you should have done is just loosen that and then you could have pried that over. Yeah, I know I should have my goggles on, shouldn't I? But what has happened is, oh, I don't want to twist that really well because I am a bit worried about breaking things in here really like this. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not that. Right, so that's that clip out of the way. So I can see what's happening now. Ah, uh, yeah. So, what holds it on the coffin? It's, it's like pasted on here. Yeah. So, is that normal, is it? I'll take it here. You know what? The amount of videos I've watched have taking these apart. But, um, and, you know. Yeah, right, so that just twists off of there. Once I get rid of this bit of plastic, I guess. I suppose what I should have done is left them bits on and pulled it up. Not sure, don't know. Right. There you go, that's just moved now. I think everything was just stuck up. So this should now. I don't I'm really worried about breaking that. <laughs> there you go, that's all I want. Can you see in there? Copper. That's all I'm after. Some number two copper. Now there will be people who put that in the number one. Do not put it in your number one. It's number two copper. Right, so I've got that off. Like I say, that's. Uh, oh, what's a wire still connected to that? Right now. There we go. This is the copper. Copper, copper, copper. That's all we want. Oh yeah, it's nice to see Vandal's back as well, isn't it? Check his videos out if you haven't already. I sort of missed it when he, he, he sort of disappeared, so. Um, now these apparently are copper or, like I say, or any. It's a long time since I've done... 
telly, these are basically the same. It's copper. So this is full of copper. Yeah. So it's just tied in with a bit of string. <laughs> it's down the bottom there anyway. Yeah, it's got I don't know what if that would be um like a plated um copper or something. Yeah, you don't get many of these now. Well, you know, I'll get a lot of, I've got loads of flat ones, but I won't pick them up now. I must admit, I've probably got 20 or 30 flat ones, and I've got a good 12, maybe 15 or more big flat screen TVs. I won't pick them up no more because the scrap lot don't like them, they won't take them. And, um, they are just a bit of a pain in the arse to be honest with you, they're too big and bulky. And, uh, yeah. So, there's no point, it's, there's no point picking stuff that you can't get rid of. For what you get out of a flat screen TV, really not worth it, really not. Um, get a few boards, but the boards are so crap, you know, it just ain't worth it. Yeah, nice bit of copper, you can't see it, I know. Well, uh, right, I'm going to move on to the, oh, look at this in there, it's a board, now we can see it, it's a board and a bit of cable, so I won't bother stripping up on there, because it, it would be really boring, nearly as boring as me, <laughs> me doing this, <laughs> right, I want to get this off, the plate off of the back, the circuit board off, but the circuit board is, and then we'll we're go from there. Right, you might say, I don't know if I'm going to add it or not, but it just started filming me again, like I say, automatically. So, um, I might show you a little bit before, you might see a little bit of this coming off before, you might not. But um, that's basically what you've got in there. Um, there's not many things in there that really excite me, but there is like some coils, copper in of copper and stuff um, but that's basically it take it this is still yeah um I suppose you've got to make it you've got to make it look like you put some of it into it that's alley yeah um but yeah that's basically what you get out of it and like i say that other bit is either alley with the shield is either alley or I guess it's alley, well, maybe a little bit of stainless in it. I will check it first, and then we've got this to strip down. So, I think what I'll do is I'll stop filming for a second and I'll take the copper for this. I'm not going to show you how I'm going to get the copper for this because it's going to be pretty boring, isn't it? And um, it's Sunday, so I might as well put this film up tonight. And uh, yeah, I won't get it done. I won't get it done if I don't um, sort of strip it off. Yeah, well, yeah, camera tape. It takes long to film bloody stuff. That's the trouble. But, uh, if you like this sort of stuff, let me know because I'll do more of this stripping stuff down. And I know you probably can't. I've just chucked you over there at the moment because, like I say, I am in the middle of tidying up, so there's crap everywhere. But like I say, if you like this sort of stuff, I'm stripping stuff down in here. Let me know. And that's the sort of stuff I'll do a few of these because at the moment the scrap on the ground, you know, outside is, it's, it's just not there, you know, it's not street scrap, it's just not there at the moment, not for me. I did have, next door, had a, had a radiator and a bit of a ball, an old cast metal ball and nothing inside, no copper nothing inside it, outside, and I, and Heidi come, so they put one next door, so I went around next door, 
a bit arsed, you know. He's on the outside. I could have just grabbed it on the on the road. And she said, "No, I've got somebody come from uh, Colchester. Well, it's quite a run from here to pick it up." And I just thought, well, "Why would you? If you knew somebody next door was doing scrap, wouldn't you just say, oh, do you want this radio? Or do you want it?'" Some people are funny. Old age, I reckon. Anyway, anyway, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, take this apart. Let's just see how much copper we get out of this, shall we? Sure. Well, yeah, might as well weigh it. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Right. See in a second. Right. I've just stripped that copper off of that, off the oak. I haven't done the this yet at all. I'll leave this to later because some of these cores I'll be taking the copper off of it, and some I will just chuck in. On these little like these little ones here i think you can see it the tiny little ones there you know it's just not worth it. the hassle I, I mean i do do them sometimes when i'm sitting here nothing to do but we won't count that so this is the wire from i don't know what the hell they call it it's gone out of my mind the bit that goes around the, the you know the, the ring that goes around the screen okay so that's that um not too bad to do at all. I mean, obviously this bit clips around. You unclip this, and then you can just get to, to take the open parts. Didn't have to. I didn't cut any wires. It's just how it sort of pulled apart. <laughs> so yeah, and there's that as well. Well, like I said, I just pulled it apart. I didn't have to get in there, and it wasn't too bad. So let's weigh it up. I say it's number two. You're not too sure if you're sort of new to stripping or what, you know, copper that. It's number two because it's it's it looks nice and shiny, but it's insulated. Um, if it wasn't, it would just the current would just go across all of it, and you want the current to go round to so act like a coil. So they coat it in and stuff. So that's why it's number two. You might get away with it. That's number one. But I personally will mix it with your number one because if you don't, you will look the whole lot will be downgraded to number two. Right, let's um, let's get a doggy bag. Yeah, that one's ripped. See, think about being a dog owner. <laughs> always have always have poop bags. Um, yeah, I actually react to copper, um, which is quite a handy thing. But thing really because I can sometimes pick something up and go oh that's copper because I can I react my skin reacts I get like a dermatitis so um yeah that's why I always wear gloves well no, I'm not now but it ain't too bad and that's another thing with this number two stuff I don't get that reaction so that's how good that insulates the copper I even think it but yeah so like so I put it in the foggy bag I'm only going to use the fishing, the fishing scales. Oh, it's got to be 20 kilos there. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that much at all. Not much at all, but it's, you know, it's a nice little strip down. If I wasn't trying to get the other stuff ready for the number first run, it'd be. Right. I'm going to double check that. <laughs> I have got the weight of the bag that weighs nothing. Let's double check it. And then I'll tell you. What I'm doing is you can guess if you want, what do you reckon that weighs? Right. Now I never know if this is going to count the right way or the wrong way around. Now I'll keep the light on it. Okay, I'm light up. Just lock, once it locks, the light goes out. 430 grams. Okay, what well, in pounds? Is that right? In pounds is 0.95 of a pound. That's quite a pound of copper. Um, I don't know what that actually is. Ounces, that's 15.2 ounces. Okay, so it's not quite half a kilo there, but. I have got some single wires down here, not the single wires and stuff like that. Um, oh, I've got a phone call. 
Right, that was a phone call from the boss. She said tea's ready, so I'm going to have to go in in a second. I've told her for about 10 minutes. I've got to clear everything up. Um, yeah, but that wasn't too bad for the amount of time it took. Half a kilo of copper, number two copper, and um, some singles. I've still got some more singles now to tidy up. And there'll be more number two copper off of the, the coils on here. And a few other little bits I'll take off of that board. Um, yeah, done what's in, um, yeah, done what's in here yet. We'll have, we'll have a look at that, but that goes one side because I really do need to get an unferrous load in. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to sort out at the moment. Just that, that was in the way, so had to go today. But, um, that's what I'm planning to do this week. Hopefully, this week, get me an unferrous done. And um, I've got quite a bit of um, shearing and light iron to weigh in as well. So it's going to be a few scrap runs. But there's no point worth peeing down the rain. It's not worth getting wet for, I don't think. And all the moment. Um, yeah. And now the nights, are, the clocks have changed. It means longer nights. It means I've got more chance of doing stuff. But um, yeah, let me know if you like me stripping stuff down. I'm going to have to get figure a better way of getting the camera and stuff and getting it all in and out. But um, yeah, it's life and it will sort that out over time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go get me tea. Just remember it's okay not to be okay. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching.